Now to the 32-year-old woman accused of posing as a high school student. She faces new charges after pretending to be a traumatized child while collecting a salary as a Massachusetts social worker. Trevor Alt has the story. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, George. So investigators say this all began when a man claimed he was withdrawing his daughter from school because she was bullied, even though she had just enrolled in that school a week prior. And school officials thought something was up. Prosecutors now say that student was actually a woman in her early 30s. This morning, the Massachusetts woman accused of posing as a Boston Public Schools high school student now facing multiple felony charges. Investigators say last year, 32-year-old Shelby Hewitt enrolled in three separate schools, presenting herself as a teenage foster child as young as 13, going by the names Daniela and Ellie. In reality, the defendant was a woman in her early 30s who had attended both college and graduate school and was employed as a social worker. Prosecutors allege while Hewitt was working as a social worker at the State Department of Children and Families, she created multiple names and dates of birth for herself and several fake social workers to spread a false narrative she was an extremely traumatized child with significant special educational needs. 16-year-old Janelle Lamont says she befriended Hewitt in school when the pair had three classes together. She says she suspected Hewitt had some mental health troubles because she'd have outbursts in class, but never suspected she was a different age. I was definitely shocked and uh, my friends were definitely upset because we accepted her as just like one of us. Boston Public School officials alerted authorities this summer after administrators discovered a DCF form had been filled out incorrectly and the social worker listed on the form was not actually an employee there. Prosecutors say Hewitt didn't act alone. She had two purported foster parents, one of whom is another social worker. Hewitt pleaded not guilty this week to nine counts, including felony forgery, identity fraud, and larceny. Her attorney insists she was never a danger to anyone. She's a person who's had a lifelong history of mental health challenges. She's in treatment, and she's working towards making herself a better person. And Hewitt has been released on $5,000 bail under conditions that require her to stay away from schools and anyone under 18. Guys? All right, Trevor. Thank you. Hopefully she'll get the help that mm -hmm. she needs. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.